There you go. Hey guys, I'm Chip, and today I'm going to show you how to change the uh, seal for the worm gear shaft that's inside a Whirlpool style transmission. This might be on a Whirlpool machine, could be on a Maytag machine, could be on a Centennial machine, a state machine, any machine that Whirlpool has parts on, this transmission is going to be in it. Sometimes you look down there and it'll be leaking uh, all under, under your client's machine or maybe you bought a machine that, and, and your own machine that you're going to fix. But it will leak oil sometimes, and this is probably the main culprit. It's going to be the seal that's right behind the motor coupling, coupling right behind the motor on, on that machine. So let's get right to the video. I don't like work on dirty parts, so I'm, I'm going to clean this with a little uh, cleaner that I, I got from a, the uh, uh, supermarket. And right here I'm using a, I, I started out using a nylon style brush and I changed to a wire brush because it was kind of difficult to get into these these spots and uh, it was pretty aggressive grease. That oil is really sticky to, to get on. So I loosened all the dirt and I got the pressure washer out and I, I started uh, pressure washing. I'm trying to be careful here not to uh, get water down into the, the shaft seal itself. That's a pretty loose seal. It's just it kind of uh, is a mainly kind of a splash guard. Uh, because it, it always uh, is upright. Now here, before you change the seal, you're going to have to take off the motor mounting plate. And it's a, a half inch socket that I'm using here. And there's two bolts on either side of this plate. So uh, it's pretty easy to remove. Uh, and you really you can't put it back on wrong because it's the same on, on both sides. The back side of this plate is really dirty. So I basically do the, the same thing here that I did um, on the transmission itself. I, uh, I just I cleaned it up with a little uh, detergent soap from uh, uh, Walmart. I'm using a putty knife here. This oil is really sticky and it's, it, it stays on metal parts uh, real hard. It picks up all kinds of rubber debris off of that, off of that motor uh, coupling. And I just I'm just scraping scraping what I can off. I like to to when I work on something I want it to be clean when I work on it. So here I'm gonna take I'm gonna pop off that motor coupling and set it aside. I'm using a screwdriver and a, a throwaway shop towel to get down in the groove where that seal is to, to get all the dirt and grime out. Once I get that uh, cleaned up, I, uh, I'll scrub it a little bit with a, a wire brush and, and get it, it real clean because once you start tapping on that thing, you're going to loosen up any, anything that you leave down in there and you don't want that to fall back down in, into, the, into the gear case. So here I'm taking a screwdriver and I take the point of the screwdriver and the end of that shop rag and I get down in all those grooves and I just just really scrape all that gunk out of there because it, that that oil is like a, almost like honey and over time it gets real real stiff and uh, it can it can pick up all kinds of dirt now if you're going to do this you want a screwdriver that has a metal end on it that's through and through the screwdriver because you don't you don't want to mess up the uh, handle of a screwdriver. But I use this screwdriver and I'm tapping that, the old cover on that seal. It's just a, a tin, a piece of tin that covers that seal and you can, you can uh, rupture it with that screwdriver and just pry it out. That's the old seal there. And here's the new seal. I'll put this part number uh, up above here. And uh, I'm just kind of fitting it down in that groove with my fingers and get it started. And then I'm looking for a, a socket that's about the same size as that seal and also fit around the, the end of that shaft loosely. And uh, just tapping it in there with a, with a hammer. It's going to be, re, be recessed in there, oh, about three-eighths of an inch, I suppose. But you can you can just tap that in there. You want you want to tap it one side then the other you can be kind of gentle with it because you don't want to bend your new seal you'll have to wait for it to come in or run back down to the parts store and get another one if you if you foul it up so once it's seated basically that job's finished now 
Now, after I did that, I, was, I examined this uh, motor coupling, and it uh, it just wasn't up to my standards of of work. It, it kind of watered out and loose, and uh, I want anything I want to, when I put stuff back together, I want it to be. Uh, tight and and it so that it won't come back to me because what I do I'll take these machines and fix them and sell them and uh, you sell them to a customer and you don't you don't want your customer calling you the next morning and saying hey uh, this machine you sold me uh, it quit or it's doing this and making noise or it's full of water and won't agitate so I always put these new parts back on now to put that uh, motor coupling on you and it's basically the same thing. You just use a, I use a half inch socket and a hammer. And uh, these new motor couplings are they have a a metal insert inside them, and you just line it up with the slots on the on the worm gear shaft, and just tap it in gently. And you tap it in where uh, where the shaft and the and the motor coupling are, are even together. So once once that's completed, I really need to uh, put uh, put the uh, uh, the motor plate back on, and I always clean up everything. I don't want I don't want nastiness on on these machines. The the the, the more you clean something, if you clean it, the more it'll last. I don't know why, but that's just what I found out and. In life, you you keep a motor clean. It's going to last a lot longer than one that when it isn't. Uh, so here I'm using a steel brush, a uh, brass brush, I think, and just scrubbing the the nasty off of this motor uh, plate. And that motor plate, when you put it back on a transmission, there's a lip on it that's that's pressed uh, to one side and you want that lip going outward from the transmission it doesn't matter you can turn it up or down it doesn't matter it's only going to go uh, it, it's the same in either direction you can't mess it up uh, so i could flip that completely over and it would fit too but but you want the only thing you want you want that uh the lip on the edges of that and in the center to be turned out toward the motor uh, area not toward the transmission and you re, uh, reinstall your half inch bolts and uh, tighten them down. I don't use a torque wrench on stuff like this. I just tighten them. Uh, I, I, tighten, I, I tighten them snug and, and just give them a little nudge to where they're not going to back out. It's really not necessary to torque this kind of stuff. Of course, I always put my tools away. And as a bonus in this thing, there's a, a clutch involved. I'm going to put a new clutch in, on this machine too. I would have changed the uh, the neutral drain in this transmission, and, and I eventually did have to because it, it wasn't working like I like. So uh, I uh, I didn't have any of this day, so I, I didn't didn't do it. Of course, when I took this clutch uh, out of the box, it had the wrong spring in it. And the way I know that is that machine there is a standard size machine. If you look at this piece of paper here, you could say this machine here, it's in French. I'm in Louisiana, but I know you don't speak French. So, so the 24, 27 inch um, case it uses a blue spring which is this and that is a 24 27 inch case and this one has the black spring in it they call that black or that dark green myself anyway to change that you take those out watch these caps on the end because they fall off make sure you have a um, vibration dampener inside the spring and then you put it back on when you put this back on you want to make sure these these feet looking thing are put down into the clutch hook, uh, bell
and we press it. that this is on the bottom goes over those ears fit in like that retainer ring goes in this bent piece goes in that little hole take a screwdriver and you want to start it in the grooves There it is. And of course it's dirty. Five minutes to quitting time. I gotta get out of here. Let's see clip those those two grooves on the shaft. Oh and I can put that on with my fingers. Imagine that. Alright, so we've got our transmission rebuilt. And set it over here. Good five minutes to four, but we'll just take that five minutes. All right, till tomorrow. <laughs>